All right, what's up, guys? So, uh, I ordered another uh, robot dog. Yeah. Another pen. It's not really that heavy. I swear. It was like more weight here than it is there. So, it seems a little suspiciously light. We will see. Everybody's always like, oh, that thing's so heavy. Oh, my God. My wrist. All right. So, here's the robot dong. This is the uh, more expensive robot dong. Now, I'm wondering what I'm going to find in here because um, when you look this up, it shows. Um, well, you guys can't see that very good, can you? It shows. Um, let's see. Those are all the dongs. And all right. Um, just trying to get this lit better. All right. So I don't know why they all say. Motang, M-O-T-E-N-G, Motang wireless tattoo machine, and this is a Kiss of Dragon tattoo. This is not the Xnet one. Um, anyway, it'll be this plastic on it first. You see a lot of the videos they show. The guys have already actually opened it up. But they, they're doing an unboxing after they've unboxed it already. Yeah, filming it. But anyway. Um, okay. Interesting that the box would be ripped right there. And packed some more. We can't even see the contents of it because of whatever. Um, so there's a card in here. Kiss of Dragon. Respect every piece of tattoo art. Professional tattoo machine. Um, Exclusive for tattoo artists. Welcome to f follow our official service account at Kiss the Dragon Official. We will public new product posts and some product promotions from time to time. If you have any problems about our products, feel free to contact us via Instagram. We will try our best to help you. If our products satisfy you, we beg you to share our products with your friends. Every time you share, it will be of great help to us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so... I guess the way this one works is you open that first. And then you uh, pull out the dog. Jeez, the thing is big. So, the uh, ad, and I'm going to contact him, is incorrect. 
It says that it comes with two batteries. It does not come with two batteries. But I didn't expect it would because um, it's actually not bad. I, I'm actually surprised. I thought for sure that this would be too big. Now, you can't get these on AliExpress anymore. They don't say EXO on them anymore. Um, okay. Like that. This feels like it could be plastic, but maybe not. Anyway. Um, really hope, yeah, cool. Now, they give you a cam wheel, but there's no push bar with it. And they give you some screws, which is great. And, um, but seriously, the ad says extra battery. And it says it in the listing. So there's just some extra stuff they put here, which caused the box to rip. But, um, they did it to protect it, so they went a little extra step there on that. So, let me just put that over there. Now, let's see how well you guys can see this. I think maybe I need to move my camera back a little bit. It's just not, uh, camera's not, like, doing what I want it to do today. Okay. I don't know if it's just, like, my light. Anyway. Um. Right. I really want to film this a little bit better. Yeah, this is really driving me nuts. Like, you guys can't see it. It's not good. Okay. Alright. Nice, there's a screw right there. It's got a little weight to it. Battery. Now, what I'm really wondering is Um, I'm wondering if these batteries fit any of the other variations of this particular pen. Um, because I, I might just go ahead and order the, uh, Flux Max copy of it, too. Um, so... I'm going to open it up here in a second, assuming that they gave me the right ones. There's actually quite a few O-rings on here. Okay. So... We got two right here. Good. 
I'm not sure how they got this thing set up. But I sure hope they don't expect me to um, I was thinking it would go out through the back, kind of like FK irons, or you can do it in the front and push it out the back. But, I don't know. Apparently not. There we go. Cool. So, they could have just threaded the damn thing. I think that would have been nice. My main concern is I was like uh, looking at the ad and I'm like, huh, I don't know what I'm getting here. Am I getting a uh, direct drive because it would say uh, eccentric wheel in the ad? I'm like, I don't want something... Like that. Now, I think I saw a video where a guy had had it a little while. I think it would be a good idea to come in here before you even use this damn thing, lube up the cam. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll set that right there for now. And I'll be back. I gotta go get my oil. Okay, so I've also oiled my cam, but also wanted to try something else while I have it here. Um, and I wanted to uh, see um, what the uh, how the cam compares to um, this other machine. Okay. I'm going to move this very carefully. They don't want to piss off the robot gods. Then they take my dong away. Uh, let's see. Where is the ambition? Okay. Now, I would assume there's also this other machine they sell for like $69. Uh, it's like a um, um, XNet SITA or something. It's a, it's a small uh, machine like this. And um, so what I want to do is compare these cams. I don't even need to uh, really take this one off, but I I like the um, the way that the uh, other machine is. Of course, you know, these are all really good compared to FK irons because here's a four and a half cam. There's a five. And I just think it would be kind of funny to do is take this cam and and run that in it. Um, there's a hole. It's really weird. There's a hole in the top of the cam on this. Like, I don't know why. It's some kind of generic thing. But, um,. They've drilled all the way through the cam, I guess. That's what it looks like. It, uh, it's not the same as the one that's on it. So the one that's on it is brass, and the counterweight is much different.
Um, it's like almost double, really. Um, so anyway, so these cams here, there's a screw there. Okay, so anyway, this cam isn't the same as the one that's on there at all, not even close. So, um, let's see. This is a 4.0. So what it looks like is the 4.0 cam from this other company. Okay. You see that right there? So it looks like the same cam. Now, I don't know if the uh, push bar is going to be the same. Okay. So we're looking at these. We're looking at that. It's got a big weight on it. It's huge. Let's have a look at the Ambition. So th this is... This is what I like about the Ambition. Unscrew it. Smaller uh, deal. Um, so this is the Ambition, just, just for comparison for you guys the ambition motor there's this one this one's kind of um it's attached in here a little too much right here Let's go ahead and it somewhere where it might do some good I tend to put like Vaseline or AND ointment in here thing is if you lubricate this now you should be good there's no point in running this thing into the ground and then deciding to lubricate it it's too late then and you don't know how good of a job they did when they made this bearing and all the little pieces at the Chinese factory so, the best thing you can do, you open this thing up right out the gate and go ahead and put some stuff on it. So, I'm going to get, uh, I've oiled it up, but, you know, oil doesn't stay. So, you put some schmutz in there. Probably not that much, but what we're going to do is move it and see... Try and get it in between the cracks here. So you can help keep it there a little longer. What I used to use is like a popsicle stick. And um, there should be one around here somewhere. Take a grip. Get off my finger. Okay. So... I haven't heard what it sounds like yet because I'm trying to do this stuff first because in my opinion this is more important and um, you know I seem to think that the problem with these have is the cam and that's cool they send you too but obviously uh, the, this cam wears out your replacement cam is not going to be the same so it's not it's not going to run the same. There's no way. Now, let's have a look at these here and see. Can I put a 4.5 cam in here?
So, um, probably, probably, I think so. All right. Okay, so we're gonna get this back together now. And, um, where did I put the rest of it? Later. So this part's not particularly heavy duty. So we just need to make sure that there's plenty of lube in there because this is where it's going to try and wear. Yeah, I don't know if there's a plastic piece in here like on some of them. Anyway, this is pretty much what I do with everything. And, um,. Now, not a, a lot of these machines, they're just really not that easy to open. I got a bunch of these wormhole machines. And I've tried to open them. This is actually pretty tight clearance here on the bearing. Um, there's a little O-ring in there. So if you open this too many times, I don't know if you guys saw that, but... Right there. So now it's sealed. Okay. But it's not going to be sealed by the screws. But it is sealed otherwise. And you get your Allen keys, which appear to be the same size as the screws used on um, my. Machine somewhere. I don't know where this one. Yeah, that one came from these guys. Get that one. So I've been on Amazon looking really hard. So this is the Kiss of Dragon one, and then XNet sells one, where I'm guessing it looks the same but it has different batteries. Uh, but if you know, let me know, because XNet is the one that you'll see everywhere else. Kiss of Dragon is just, it seems like specific to Amazon more. Now the Kiss of Dragon ones that are on AliExpress don't say anything here where they say hello now. And I don't know if maybe that's in the picture and you'll get one that looks like this. But I like the way that looks. I'm not an FK Irons fan. I've never used any of their machines. Um, I don't even think that they were around when I started my apprenticeship. No, they weren't. Because, uh, yeah, I apprenticed in like 2005. So they weren't even around back then. They weren't even a thing. But I remember my boss was looking at buying a pneumatic tattoo machine and back then he ran everything he ran was nationals aluminum frame swing gate nationals so um none of this stuff was out there back then you know in fact i don't think i even knew about any of this until like earlier this year So the robot dong, it's got a pretty good click to it. It seems uh, to be made fairly well. Um, I don't know if it's a fair price for what you're getting or not. Um, eh. Maybe uh, 
put some grease on that put some oil on it for it squeak I'm like hmm okay I'm not sure where it squeaked at I, I like the finish on this, you know, because it glosses up when it's greasy, which means it's easy to clean. Um, and so for me, this thing's fucking huge. Look at that. That is a big robot dog. Big, black. Gigantic robot dong. Alright, anyway. We've got all kinds of pens. And uh, only a couple of them are actually easy to open. And only, like, one of them is designed to open besides this one. This one here, I haven't figured out. This one here, can't get open. I've tried to get this one open. So the um, the high ink pens come apart pretty easy, and they just have an eccentric wheel behind here. And I don't know if these are better or worse. I mean, I've I've heard they're worse. So um, I haven't had any problems with them, but I haven't really done anything with them either, other than just a little bit. With the blue one, um, actually, I, I guess I've tested all of them on my leg, but I, I like this, uh, but um, I think, uh, you know, ultimately for lining, I think uh, I'm going to try and stick with the coils, you know, but anyway... Um, let's go ahead and uh, pause the video. I'm going to put everything away and then we'll uh, test the machine out. Alright, so I plugged the battery in. And um, so it looks like that while it's charging. Um, I haven't turned it on yet. I don't know what kind of rate it runs at. Hmm. Interesting. It's funny because the battery is almost the size as the ambition. Now, I thought this was a big machine when I got it because I was, you know, looking at like stuff like this. And maybe it's just me, but I think that maybe the other thing is a little too big. I have these ones here. And I didn't like the end of them. I thought it was just, you know, kind of too big, I guess. Um, I prefer... You know, something like that for some reason. So, um, I just kind of thought that yeah, is a bad shape. So I wasn't really sure that it was a good idea to order this thing or not. And I actually really like a small pen like that. To me, it's like I can get in there and really do some stuff. Um, this is forward weighted though, which is really cool. So this might really, really make some smooth lines, I don't know, but it's huge. So, that's one thing to consider before you buy one of these. Um, you know they say like it'll help your finger, blah blah, I don't know if that's true or not. It does, it seems 
like, I don't know. We'll have to use it and see, but, um, where's my cord? And one of the things that I like to use a power cord for is because I want to control my voltage. And, um, if I can't, you know, like, dial it down to, like, exactly, like, 5.1, 5.2, Wrong foot pedal. Okay. And we're on the liner. It's noisy already. That cam is noisy. I can hear it at five. Now, we don't have a cartridge in it, but cartridge locks in great. I heard it like click like three times. It is definitely noisy. It could be my cartridge because it has dried ink in it. So, there's a little bit of noise in our machine. And, um, that's generally not a good thing. So, at 5 volts, we hear about. Not much noise. Now I know how these sound. This is super f fucking quiet. I hear absolutely nothing whatsoever out of this. This is pretty quiet too. So let me pull up my noisiest machine that I have. This one right here. Yeah, you can hear that. Or this one's pretty noisy too. This one won't. Yeah, oh, my cord must have come loose. Yeah. Minor. My uh, air conditioner is running in the background, turning on and off because uh, it's actually running on solar. So it, uh, it's kind of a cloudy day. Yeah, as you can hear, that's fairly noisy. Okay. I hear like a random noise, which to me sounds like a bad bearing. And like I heard the one guy's machine after a year, and I thought, man, that thing sounds horrible. So, at 8 volts, it's pretty noisy. We have to. Nine. At nine, the vibration is noticeable. You can hear it on the table. And then there's ten. I don't know if I should go past 10. The supply itself actually says, on the battery, it says 12. I got it running on three right now. So just another reason, you can't go down to three on this battery on the machine, there's no way. You ain't gonna do that. Um, we're at 11. 
12. I guess it might just be the Vaseline that I put in there. Bring it back down to 10. I think 10. I mean, I don't think you probably, I don't know how fast this machine runs, but it probably never even needed it at 10. Now, my hand, I think I just heard something funny. Um, at 10, I can tell you right now, my hand was going numb. The vibration's significant. Um, let me try one of these other ones and see. It's got quite a bit of vibration, too. At least it doesn't sound like that. But then again, see, this thing's probably screaming at that speed because of the wheel. Ambition's nice and quiet. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. I mean, it's $110 plus tax for this. Um, and I guess that's probably a pretty good deal. This here is $77 with the tax. So... But, like, I mean, I got all these other machines that can tattoo with any of them. And none of them are even close to these prices. Um, this was $19. This came in a kit with a battery. It was $40, $44. And um, I don't like it, but, yeah, it works. Um, this one here is probably the worst one. It's noisy. It doesn't have a clicker. Um... You have to put an O-ring in it, and the O-ring doesn't hold it, so you got to change the O-ring. This one here uh, was like 40 bucks. Honestly, it's just a mass tour, and it's a piece of junk. There's no reason to buy it. This one here is really, really good, and I, I think it was like $33. So I've got one somewhere else. It's like a stigma that was like. $15 for a kit. So basically, uh, a lot of these were fairly cheap. And, um, you know, to spend $100 on a machine, um, it depends on what you want, I guess. Um, but I think that you could just buy this thing here and a battery and um, probably be better off in the long run. Because you got the cam, you change it out, I think it has a better kind of motor, so, although none of these are like coil machines, and the fact that if these things go bad, you know, uh, you have a problem with them, you're screwed. I'm not a fan of batteries being proprietary. I want my battery to go on the top. Here's another example of a Ten, I don't like because the battery is proprietary in the fact that it's recessed. It's actually designed to lock into here and rotate the machine body inside the grip to change the stroke. So it fits certain machines if they're shaped like that. But if they're not quite the right size, it won't work. You got a couple of them that won't work on. So basically this one and this one will work. And then this one works because it sticks out. It doesn't sit on there real tight anymore. So you buy this machine and you're kind of paying for the battery that sucks anyways because it goes 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11. Right where I need it. 9.5. 10. You don't get it. So, 
it's pointless to buy certain machines because I'm going to run it without the deal. So I actually haven't compared this one at 10 volts. This one is pretty damn smooth. There's a fair amount of vibration at 10 volts, but I mean, look at how small this thing is. So, uh, anyway, certain things are just not worth buying. And I don't know that this is one of those things that's worth buying because for me, um, the battery on this is also kind of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, uh, I want 0.1 increments. And I want the digital display and I want to be able to step through the volts by 0.1 or at least half a volt. Like this one here. Also, the other thing is if it's like one button and you gotta, like if you can't just go quickly pause the machine while you're tattooing, there, there's no reason to have a battery on it. I want the thing off. I don't want the thing running when I'm done. So, this one goes six, six and a half, seven, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half. I mean, you know, it's doable. It's it's not the best solution in the world, but it works. And you can just pause it or start it. Or long press it and turn it off. But some of these other batteries, they don't work that way. You gotta hold the thing for quite a while. And then it'll show you your voltage, and then it will flash over and show you if your battery is fully charged. And then it'll just sit there, I think, and then flicker every once in a while. So you gotta hit it like this, and then go boom, 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 boom. And it actually works pretty good as far as doing that. And then you have to like long press it, and it'll turn off. I have another one where it, it's not so good. It's one of the ones from Hot Ink that comes off at an angle, and when you push it, I can't find it. I think it's over there. When you push it, um, it actually looks like the button on this one's damaged too. Um, that's why I'm wondering if there's a problem with it. Uh, I think the button is actually stuck in the corner. Um, anyway, this one here, you turn it on, it shows you the voltage. It goes five, six and a half, eight, nine and a half, and then 11. And it'll flash like that. And then if you want to change the voltage, you can't do it when it's showing you the battery capacity. And it'll interrupt you. Like it just interrupted me. I can't do anything right now. There we go. So when it shows me the capacity, and you're like, it just won't change. So this thing drives me nuts. Yeah. And since it's on there like that, you know, and if you go like that, it's going to bump into your arm. Anyway, let's go ahead and try the battery, I guess. I have a feeling you can't use it while it's plugged in. Okay. The other thing the guy mentioned was the buttons wore out on his. It has a jump start. I can hear it. And what is nice about the battery, though, is that it really doesn't weigh that much. Um, which also means that it might not really have that much capacity. Well, anyway, um, 
I'll make another video later 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 uh, testing it on some practice skin they uh, they didn't center up the uh, EXO where you would expect it to be either I don't know if uh, the original is that way okay nope yeah they didn't center it up so it's not centered at all that's another thing to keep in mind I, I don't know if that matters to you I mean some people are just buying this because it looks like an FK irons it's like uh, you know they um, buy like fake Rolex watches and stuff and that kind of deal um, Anyway, I'm gonna probably contact the seller and say, "Why does your listing say extra battery, but I don't get one?" And you know, there is another listing where you know, for twenty dollars or thirty dollars more, you get an extra battery. But um, yeah, I don't know. So we can pause it by quickly doing that, and you can hear it ramp up. So it shoots up to like I think twelve volts or ten volts. Um, long press it and turn it off. So, basically, that's the size of it. So, tell me what you guys think.